all the way across to about to the end. That's perfectly fine. And your Wi-Fi button light is underneath here, so that's fine. It covers that. But you want to insulate that first. If you put the aluminum right over top of that, eventually these sharp little things will poke through the adhesive. This is once the backing's gone. And it'll short that out. You don't want to short that out and cause all sorts of problems. Probably ruin the laptop if that shorts out. A piece of your captain's tape. And you can see actually here, this is not in square. It's a little bit off to the side like this. So just pull this back. Make sure that's in there square. That's really important. Lock it up again. There we go. You can see this tab right there. It's parallel with the locking bar. So keep, keep that in mind. And you put some of your captain's tape right there. Done really well. It's kind of thin, so it doesn't hurt to use two pieces. Better safe than sorry. Put another one right there. There we go. Okay. So don't peel this adhesive off and expect to stick it on all in one shot because once it's, if you get it in the wrong place, it's really difficult to get off. So you start the corner. this. Okay, don't peel it off yet. I'm trying to get this right here. Okay. So there's your switch right there for your power. So you want to just pull it back a little bit and just right there, start it. Okay, and as you, you can peel this back and it'll move from side to side. And you just do it a little bit at a time here, making sure all that's covered up nicely with the aluminum tape. And again, this is best to use the copper stuff from Amazon. And you'll have to get, I got this from Amazon.com. Um, there's a place, I live in Canada here, so there's a, the place sent it, send it to Canada. Sometimes they won't send to Canada. It's very annoying when they do that. So you just finish completing the end of this. Put that on this zipper, I don't need that anymore. So there you go. Now, not done yet. This has to make contact with that. So they take a piece, another piece of this. About the width of this. Okay. And it's a little long. And we need to make a crease here and it's a little bit long we'll just cut some of this off there we go and another crease here again if you have the proper copper tape with the conductive adhesive you won't have to make all these creases you just peel it off and stick it on and it's done this is just makes it a little bit more difficult having the uh, improper product here but this will work in case you don't want to wait and pull this off and you fold these over now and actually make it a little easier to work with you so you hang on to it there and you fold this over okay so you end up with something that looks like that okay and you fold this back on itself so the adhesive is out And that goes right you now right there is where it's folded okay so you want to put that right in there just like that okay now that's not going to stick there to itself so you want to make sure that this strip comes in contact with this I need more captain's tape here You could actually make this even a little longer so it goes all the way down there, but this is just good enough for demonstration purposes. And 
put it down really well, like right into the corner there, and then you got to cap this. You see, that's not you want that to stay down there, so you take some more cap this tape. just like that. Cut off the excess. That. Careful not to cut into the cable, of course. There we go. So there. This grounding tape here, and this is all one piece now. And that sits in the laptop just like that so yeah. that part of it's done let's pull this back put this aside Bring the laptop back here now there's the original grounding strip right there which is no good for nothing so we take this and you can see there's a, a tab right there you can grab hold out the tweezers uh, this has to be cleaned with a Cipral too. I'm not going to bother doing it. It's just for demonstration purposes. This laptop is just a bunch of pieces that I'm showing you on. And that just plugs in there just like that. And you can see it goes in quite far. And you can see that's totally plugged in right there. You don't want to like leave it like that. That's or partially in or don't put it in square like this. See that's not in all the way. Put it in all the way and make sure it's in there. Okay. That's one of the biggest problems people take the laptop part is that they don't put the connectors in properly. So this sits right about here. Let's just temporarily put this keyboard back in place. Like that. This sits right about there like that. So just make a note of where that goes. Let's pull the keyboard out again. Okay, that sits right there. There's actually still a little bit of, the, bit of the original adhesive there from HP, but that's okay. We can just leave that there. So this metal plate where the DVD drive, that's an excellent ground. The ground is like a lightning rod. That's where you want the static electricity to go is out on this ground. So this has to be connected from here to here now. So we would take some more of this stuff. Cut another strip. It doesn't have to be It's perfectly fine just to cut it like this. Okay, and it's going to go from here to here, so make a fold in it like this. Okay, you see how I've done that? Now that actually will... Actually, that's not going to work because it's adhesive, so I'll have to do it the hard way. So, again, take a... And make a crease in it. Again, this this not a contact it doesn't conduct electricity the adhesive, so you have to make this little these little folds and just put it right there. I suppose you could here, that'll work. Let's do it like this. And you see how that's stuck there, it's just don't want that. There we go, okay. Now you cut this off. Okay, and you have to make a little fold underneath here if you can see that. Okay. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Now that doesn't actually stay down, so more captain's tape. that and work it right into the corner like this 
make sure that that part is right down there and you can see I'm getting my oily skin all over this all over this you can clean that off with zipper I'll even wear best wear surgical gloves the problem with surgical gloves is that the adhesive likes to stick to them and it becomes a real nuisance but uh, you might clean this so with a Cipril alcohol you know, take your rag and just do this and then don't touch the surfaces that are meant to make contact okay if you get that that's important to make sure that these surfaces whenever you fold them over and glue them down that those be, are clean of your, elk, your uh, oily skin and you stick that down there just like that some people have actually just put black electrician's tape over this whole thing with all this grounding stuff, but that's what it looks like when it's all done. Nice and neat and clean. And everything's grounded and shielded properly. So you slip your keyboard back in just like this. Okay. And uh, put your screws back in. Don't worry about the other ones on the underside yet. Keyboard's in place, fold this back over. And when you do this, you start at the bottom, so just put it in place. And it snaps back and goes in a lot easier and comes out, that's for sure. Okay, and you start. And it should be flush right here. You start in the corner and just work your way around. It takes a fair little bit of pressure. And then this, you Tuck it in like this. Make sure these tabs right there are locked in place. Okay, and then the back end gets down. Just like that. There you see it's snapping in. You have to put a few, you see how much pressure I'm putting on there. You don't want to push really hard, but and everything's all nice and flush. Okay, and you can see the power button's lining up. You can hear it clicking properly. Okay. And then you take this other piece, which I set down someplace and I can't find it. Anyways, that slips back in here. There it is. There it is. There's a tab right there that goes underneath there. Another tab there. Start with the front end. Back end. And then this part here. Make sure everything's all in place. It snaps in pretty good. And this is, is nice and flat right there. Okay, that's all right. And you're done. You just put the screws back in inside the battery bay and those two on the ends and your keyboard screws and there you go. And you can actually see, it feels like this is, yeah, it's okay. And you're done and that should solve your problems. Thanks.